All right, guys. Well, welcome back to the 2020 Chicago Auto Show. You are now We're closing welcome it out to join us on the stage. Press conferences today. Of course, we are here in the Jeep booth. Earlier today, under the FCA brand, they launched the all-new Chrysler Pacifica Pinnacle. It's their new minivan, completely fresh. And, of course, today here at the Auto Show, we've got three new Jeeps that are hitting the market. Of course, a big year for Jeep with the Gladiator brand. Over my shoulder, you can see the exposed chassis of what this all-new Sahara and all-new series of Jeeps will look like. The new one is the Mojave. It's a 3.6 liter Pentastar motor under the hood, but you can see it's going to come with these complete off-road tires and complete suspension meant for really taking a Jeep like this off-road. Now, Jeep continues to be the leader in the market, and in a minute, we're going to talk to the head of Jeep, Jim Morris, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about the excitement with the brand. One of the themes here at the 2020 Chicago Auto Show is one thing and one thing only. It's all about off-road performance. You're seeing a lot of the automakers bring new changes to their vehicles that are current existing on the marketplace, but they're adding cool features to it. So if you look at the Jeep, they're going bigger wheels, bigger tires. They're giving you more color options and more trim levels. All the things that you look for when wanting to buy an off-road or aftermarket vehicle. You can see this one has Fox Racing shocks on it, things that set itself apart from others in the market. Toyota showing off a series of cool Supras in their booth today. Really a defining moment for them. Not to mention seven other vehicles in their booth that are all receiving some form of different trim levels or packages. Different colors, a lot of excitement. Jaguar showing off their F-Type here, single exhaust. I saw it earlier in the week. The thing is just sexy. It's a very beautiful vehicle. Of course, there's going to be a lot of things for customers to do when they come down here to the auto show. One of the great features over my shoulder over here, you can't quite see it, but Jeep is going to provide an opportunity for consumers because it's snowing and cold outside to take a vehicle off-road. So they've got Camp Jeep over there. You'll get a chance to take a vehicle off-road, experience everything of what a Jeep has to offer. Toyota is also doing the same thing. Ford this morning showcased their all-new Ford GT. It's a carbon fiber edition, which is what makes it special. Uh, not to mention the Ford Mach-E as well. Uh, as you can see, auto shows are all about scrums. And the minute the press conference was over, we were able to, uh, you were able to see the journalists make their way up to the stage. I'm going to do something special here. I'm going to get Jim Morrison over here. I promise I'm going to bring it to you here in a quick second. I'm going to give my mic a win. I'm going to go get him for a second. Hold on. Sometimes, sometimes on live television, you have to just do what you got to do to get that interview. So we're going to get Jim. I'm going to give you guys a quick look here of the Mojave. They filmed this vehicle out in the Mojave Desert. And as we were noting earlier, it's got a great exterior design to this vehicle. I love what they're doing with it. The Gladiator is one of the top sellers for them. You're starting to see them roll out all across the USA. at The SEMA show, which is an aftermarket show in Las Vegas last year, they really showcased this vehicle. I'm going to give you a couple other highlights here at the show. Nissan showed off their all-new Frontier. What's the news is it's got a 3 8 liter motor under the hood and that's something that sets itself apart for the Nissan brand. They also have a million miler Nissan here at the auto show as well. It's kind of unique. Uh, this gentleman Brian Murphy has owned that Nissan since uh, 1996. He's put a million miles on it as a delivery person and as a thank you they're going to give him a new Frontier as well. All right, so, uh, and one clarification, it was 2007 on that, on that Nissan Frontier. A lot of other great things here at the show. Ram, they've got the Ram 1500 near their booth. That was a Motor Trend Truck of the Year last year. And we're going to get him. He made his, you know, he's the most popular guy uh, at the show right now, Jim Morrison, president, head of the Jeep brand. Tell, okay, you already have the best Jeeps in the market, yet you got to do it again. This thing's amazing. Tell me about it. Yes, you know, we don't just put stickers on things. We actually <laughs> listen to our customers and build what they're looking for. You know, when you watch what the dealers are, 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 are working on with their customers and what customers are doing to modify their vehicles, um, this is one of the things they were doing. So going fast in the desert, um, this is a natural extension of what uh, a four-wheel drive capability for us. We're really good at trail-rated and crawling over the rocks and crawling um, going slow. Now this is going to be setting the bar for going fast and uh, uh, working hard in the desert at high speeds. Here's what really excites me about the Jeep brand, right? This is bread and butter. Off-road. It's a Jeep. We know what it can do. Electric? Diesel? What is happening? I, you guys are getting modern and hip and trendy with technology. Yes. You know, diesel is amazing. You know, we get that from our customers as well. They kept saying, hey, put a diesel in this thing. I drove it through the Rubicon Trail. It was incredible. We got it all the way from Lake Tahoe, two hours, through the trail, two days, back to Lake Tahoe, still half a tank of gas. 
It gets Amazing. 29 miles per gallon on the highway and wheels with 460 pound feet of torque. It's incredible. So customers are right again, but it's it's really just you know taking technology to the next level. And I can tell you the 4 by e technology, having driven it, it's going to crank it out to the next level. It's over the top fun. Here's a chance to give some shout out, right? I saw on the, the exposed chassis over here, Fox Racing Shocks. Yes. Who are some of the key partners that help bring this cool vehicle to market? Well, you know, Fox obviously are partners with um, uh, with the tires, with Wild Peaks on them. And uh, and mostly it was our community of saying, you know, what do we need this Jeep to do? So, you know, listening to uh, all of them and working, you know, the, the uh, Fox with both the, the bypass shocks and the new uh, hydraulic jounce bumper, that's a creative way to make sure you're managing all of that weight as it's going fast through the sand. All right, I'm not going to throw you. I'm not going to throw you a pickle, but I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you a bone. So we know Ford is coming out with the Bronco. Yep. We know Land Rover has brought the Defender back. It's going to be really hard to compete with these vehicles. So what can you share with our friends over there? How are they going to bring the A game to this? You know, I, I don't know. You it's know, hard. It's, it's hard, but uh, the one thing is, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's nice to be copied, but we'll, uh, we'll see what they bring. I will not quote them, but no, that's good. I'm, hey, I'm with you, man. It's the best on the market. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by and visiting, visiting with us here at the 2020 Chicago Auto Show.